Hello everybody, it's Natasha. In today's video, I'm going to show you a flip through of the brand new Fix It Grammar Level 2. I cannot believe the best grammar curriculum got even better, but it did. This is my all-time favorite grammar curriculum. If you are new here, I absolutely love IEW and Fix It specifically. I have had such success with it has been one of those things that I've continued to use. It's been one of those things that I've used through multiple children. It's one of those things that is just a staple in my homeschool. And when I found out the changes they were making to fix it, I was over the moon happy. So let me show you the new fix it grammar. This is specifically level two, but all of the levels are now set up in this format. So first we have the teacher manual and then the student book. The student book is pretty exciting, but let's look at the teacher manual first. So this is Town Mouse and Country Mouse for level two. That is a change from the old edition. They've kind of um, revamped how the books go. And so uh, level two now is Town Mouse and Country Mouse. And... So here, this page has uh, digital downloads, and then let's go, let me see, let me make sure now that I save that. Yeah, it has some grammar talks, um, like audio books, vocabulary lists with definitions and things. So it's just a way to download that for you. Then we have the instructions of how to use Fix It. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this, but basically, um, the whole idea with Fix It Grammar is that you learn it, read it, mark it, fix it, rewrite it. I mean, that's basically what you're doing. So students are essentially taking an entire story and throughout the year, they will have, they will be correcting um, any mistakes. They will be learning key grammar concepts. They will be um, marking parts of speech and they will be rewriting the passage correctly. At the end, they will have rewritten the entire story. So that's like the very basic gist of how Fix It Grammar works. Uh, it tells you about the grammar cards. I do have a video on the grammar cards. And here we have a list of the weeks and which um, grammar cards are used. So that's fabulous. Then we have the scope and sequence for each week and what they are learning. And I do notice that this is now, uh, this is 30 weeks. And I know my level one, my old level one is 33 weeks. So um, it, it, I like that it is not 36 weeks of work because it gives you some flexibility. So I do like that. So it gives you the uh, scope and sequence of parts of speech, capitalization, uh, punctuation, uh, clauses, homophones, other concepts, and stylistic techniques. It gives you the entire list of the vocabulary that your student will be using here. And then we go into our weekly lessons. As you can see, there are 30 weeks. So here we have um, Learn It. So it's teaching the kids about nouns and an article adjective. It gives more information here. Um, and it says you can go to G5. That's the grammar guide uh, five. And it tells you about the noun test and things. So this is extra additional information for the teacher on the side. And then we have capitalization, end mark, indentation. And then here... So that was all the, where they're learning the information, okay? So this gives you, um, as, the, as the parent, as a teacher, information on what to teach your kids, how to teach them, um, helpful hints, all of that. And then this is very similar to what the student book looks like. And you see it says week one, day one. They're going to read it and then they're going to mark it and fix it. Here's a significant change from the old editions where it actually, let me zoom in on that. It says two articles, five nouns, one capital, one end mark. So in previous editions, it just told you kind of like all of the things and then you had to, you didn't know how many you were looking for. 
So I listened to um, the IEW podcast on this, which I highly recommend you do. And the reason uh, they made this change is so that students are empowered and so that it is kind of like a game, right? And if you have multiple students or you're in a co-op or something, you know, who could find the five nouns quickest or, you know, that sort of thing, or just make it a game with your child. Like, let's see how long it takes you to find all those. Ready, set, go, you know, and it can just, you can uh, make it a game, but it also just empowers the students. They know exactly what they're looking for. And so I think that was a great change that they made there. Um, versus just a general like you know find the nouns find the articles they know exactly how many they're they're looking for it tells us the definition of the vocabulary word so here uh, in bold this was the same as the old edition the vocabulary word is in bold but here we have the definition very handy and uh easily available right there and then it tells us the um, capitalization and marks and note. So why, you know, why John is capitalized? It's because it's a proper noun and the first word of the sentence and use a period at the end of a statement. And in this sentence, town and kitchen are not nouns, they are adjectives. So it gives you notes about this. And, and in the old edition, I will say that anytime my kids have had a question or I have, I've had a question, like they think, oh, isn't this a noun? Then I look and the, there's the explanation for me and literally every question I've had has been answered in the teacher book. So I am sure it is the same way um, in the new edition because basically they know, that it's almost like they can read your mind and like know what your kids are gonna ask. So um, it's very intuitive like that. That's one of the things I've loved about this. Okay, so then we go into a week one, day two. So, they're going to mark two articles, four nouns, two capitals, and one end mark. We've got overflowed. And then um, it shows you the completed version that the students, it will look like for the students, the information, and then the rewrite. And so that's how the days go. I mean, every day is the same. And, and notice another difference is that there's like essentially one day per page. So this is week eight, day two, week eight, day three. That's a big change from previous versions because previous versions had the entire week on one page. And then we have the complete story. So here's the complete story. So that at the end of the year, they will have rewritten this entire story correctly. They will have found all the parts of speech, all of that. Here's um, our page for LY adverbs so this is a change too where they can collect the ly adverbs as they find them and strong verbs quality adjectives and then we have our grammar glossary and this covers parts of speech the sentence punctuation additional concepts homophones and usage and stylistic techniques i do want to point out on the fix it grammar cards um, if you saw my video on those I just want to um, show you here that, let's say, this is G9. So that is the Grammar Glossary, page 9. So this card goes with this one here. So I just wanted to point that out if you have the cards. So that is the teacher guide. Now let me show you the student book. The student book is pretty awesome. Okay, I'll move that. Okay, so the student book, this is what your student will write in, obviously. Here are the instructions that we saw in the teacher guide. You've got the scope and sequence, the vocabulary, so all the same as the teacher guide and our weekly lessons. And then here we have the learn it, this notice, this looks just like the teacher guide. The way this new level is set up, they can essentially work through this on their own, which I have always had to work with it uh, with my students one on one because um, I had to ask them the questions like um, about the nouns and articles and things like that. Um, and so they could know for sure, you know, did I get enough? And so. Um, that, this change with having it marked how many they need to find uh, essentially makes this independent. So that's an amazing uh, change as well. 
So they've got the learn it information, okay? And then they have their week one, day one. And notice this sentence is not marked yet like it was in the teacher guide because they're going to be doing that. And here is another big change. In, pre in the previous edition, they had to write the story out in a separate notebook. And now they have space for them to rewrite it right in the student book. So no more losing her notebook. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully they don't lose this one. Um, then we have week one, day two. Again, everything, uh, the one vocabulary, two articles, four nouns, two capitals, one end mark. They will fix all the sentence, mark all that, rewrite it. And so that is how each day goes. Oh, I also, sh I also should mention, in case you're not familiar with Fix It, that it is a four day a week program. So that is also really nice. And this is literally all they're doing for the day. So this does not take long. Um, obviously, the first day of the week is going to be the longest day because they're, they have the more the learn information. The great thing about this, too, as you see, like here, they're learning about pronouns. They've got this chart here. So as they're working through pronouns on week two, they can refer to this chart. They can also refer to their grammar cards if they need those. So um, that is this is how the program goes. Here's week four, an example. Day one. Day two, day three, day four. Don't you love how it's nice and big? Um, they can see it. It's like literally when the student sees this page. When, oh, that's a piece of cake. I got this. It's not overwhelming. It is amazing for students who are struggling or hesitant, but it is also amazing for students who are a little more advanced because you could work through these books more quickly. Um, older students might work, you know, like a high school level student. Um, they do recommend starting in level one, but they could do one week's worth in one day, fly through the beginning books, that sort of thing, if um, they need to, or if you need a remedial program, like I said, for your older students, but for, you know, an everyday student, they, they suggest fix it about the fourth grade level for book one. So book two would be about the fifth grade level, but they do not put grade levels on these books and they actually don't even, you know, really say that. Um, but they basically say fourth grade level is kind of like the intention of when to start the program possibly third, don't start it before then, is essentially um, what they say. You can start after that, that anytime, go to book, book one, work your way as quickly as possible, or as quickly as you want to, I should say. Um, so that is how this goes. And then in the back of the student book, we've got the same thing with the complete story the LY adverb collection pages and quality adjectives and strong verbs. And that is it. So no grammar glossary in the back of the student book, only in the teacher book. So if you want to have your teacher book handy for your student or you simply want to get them the grammar cards, which are beautiful, I'll link the video for these down below. But I absolutely love these changes. And if this is your first time ever seeing Fix It, then um, you can just see how amazing this is. I'm gonna put a link down below and um, it is an affiliate link. So I do get um, a little commission if you do purchase through my link, which I really appreciate, but it doesn't cost you anything extra. It's just a way to support this channel. And so I really appreciate that. But um, yeah, I absolutely love Fix It. As you guys know, I'm gonna put my entire IEW playlist down below too. So if you're interested in IEW, you can see lots of their products that I have videos on. All right, everybody, thanks so much for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you love all things homeschool.